We recently shared a video concerning some of our most recent discoveries pertaining to the different lost ancient civilizations that I have identified that can be found here upon our planet. Predictably, after our unjustified demonetization, I have continued to be targeted by academics who, due to their inability to answer the questions I posit, obviously hate my work. My most recent video concerning the third ancient civilization I have independently identified as once living here upon our planet, which practiced lost and as such inexplicable building techniques, was targeted. Successfully taken down under the guise of a copyright strike by a particular individual, claiming copyright ownership to all its content, this regardless of the fact that it contained many different areas of research, most specifically my own, even though we are now demonetized and thus the infringement goal posts as it were by default widen, even though, even if we did share a portion of this certain individual's images, due to no monetization, we would feel that it would merely fall under copyright protection for purposes of commentary and education. And even though we have added my own discoveries to this specific site, this individual devoted several hours, nearly a day's worth of venomous effort in fact, in targeting not only the video, but every comment made upon it, with a tailored response to each individual, also targeting my email and also spamming my Facebook page, sending several threatening emails, declaring that they were intent on getting their small following to target my channel also. Although this is clear harassment, it has also made their mask slip, as it were, as the attitude of academia towards my content and their resentment of such are clearly aligned with this individual's vitriol. I will not mention this individual's name, firstly because I am now embroiled in a copyright dispute with them, but also that if this is a legitimate claim by said individual, it is clear that they are merely a glory hunter. Believing they are the sole owner of a site, I believe to be more than likely over 50,000 years old. In contrast to this individual, I recently received an email from an independent researcher by the name of Jock Doubleday, who has spent 23 months investigating the Bosnian Pyramid Complex, 16 months of which spent as an official videographer for the Archaeological Park Foundation. He not only sent me all of his discoveries, but stated that I was free to share all of which with the world. This attempt to share such exhaustive research with us, in an attempt to expand all of our understandings of the past, in comparison to what we encountered regarding the attack by this individual for sharing a few images, who has seemingly claimed ownership to a specific Neolithic site, turning away several individuals such as Graham Hancock in an attempt to be solely named as the owner of said research, has so far successfully prevented its exposure to the world, possibly in an attempt to merely gain glory for the ruin's discovery, but also has limited the exposure of a ruin possibly built over 50,000 years ago. I will leave it up to you to come to your own conclusion as to who has the right attitude towards unraveling the history of our planet and I will also be covering Jock's astonishing discovery shortly. Regardless of this organized attack, I will be continuing on the same vein of exploratory subject matter in this video, not only to annoy said individual, but academia as a whole. The main problem I feel these academics have with my work, and why they successfully had me demonetized, are the facts I present, along with the efficiency of the attached reinforcing research my intimate knowledge of what our well-studied, academically permitted ancestors' past capabilities were, but crucially, how they have no answers regarding any of the features or contradictions I present. Having got that out of the way, let us continue. Who were the Neoliths? In previous videos, thanks to several signature building techniques, along with the differentiations in these, found among ancient ruins all over the world, I have identified and logically separated different lost civilizations' work. Additionally, these signatures have allowed the identification of who built what, where, and when. Naming these civilizations ourselves as the Polygonal and the Cyclopean civilizations, with Italy allowing me to identify that the Cyclopeans predated the Polygonals. 
Yet, there was another civilization, also practicing masonry techniques, which utilized the lifting and placement of stones many tons in weight, which we know in modern-day history as the Neoliths. Yet, who were these enigmatic people? It should be clear to all who have watched our previous content that the intimate knowledge they had of astronomical precisions, along with their astonishing capabilities of solar alignments, in addition to the size of the stones they used in their building of these structures, demonstrates that they were far from that of a primitive people. The evidence of their knowledge, with building methods still not deciphered, is clearly undeniable evidence that they were far more advanced than academics claim. And although their ruins may now appear primitive, this may, in all possibility, be due to their tremendous age. These undeniabilities, along with our in-depth study of their intentions, which are better understood and deciphered as every day goes by, is the main reason why I am disliked by an academia who not only have no answers to the evidence I present, but are also, by default, systematically being humiliated. My accusation is that mainstream archaeology, along with academic institutes, particularly those teaching our children, attest to particular groups being responsible for such ruins. Yet we accuse them of fallacy, and with good reasoning, not only due to the civilizations they are teaching children who were responsible, were simply incapable, but when these young, free-thinking adults are confronted with such tales after watching my content, are armed with information which not only proves that such claims are lies, but when they challenge their teachers and academics alike with the information provided on my channel, subsequently receive the response I told them they would, which is a response absent of any logical understanding, revealing that they are indeed purveyors of fallacies, merely following orders placed in books, continuing an illogical delusion which conceals the truth. It is not only opening their minds to the fact that my research be accurate, but each individual who is exposed to these truths systematically weakens academia's influence as a whole, a power which they once held over all of our minds, snapping one chain at a time. As such, freeing the minds of the inquisitive to not only the reality of our world and the vast unknowns that these institutes are seemingly attempting to hide, but creating allies in the pursuit of these truths. How did a group placed thousands of years back within history lift such stones atop one another? How did they quarry them and somehow carry them many miles to their final resting places? Not only that, but to align most of these sites from ground level with such precision to processions of astronomical bodies. Furthermore, I personally believe that their obsession with the Sun was for good reason, and that the cyclical nature of it, which I was attacked for positing as the causation of the demise of Atlantis within my Atlantis video, may have quite possibly been the cause for this obsession, possibly created to observe its activities after experiencing a cataclysm. Is it mere coincidence that it could be seen as the Son of God, the Light Bringer, that hell is often represented as an inferno? But I digress. The point is, the Neoliths were undoubtedly far more advanced and had far more knowledge than academia are willing to admit. Yet regardless, due to ours and others' in-depth research, this is now undeniable. And anything academia is reluctant to admit, we will always find highly compelling. If you enjoy our content, if you think our battle worthy, please help us to continue our voyage of discovery in unraveling the mysteries of history. Links to donate can be found within the description. Without you, we cannot survive. Thank you.